Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message that I read from the internet. This message was posted on Wednesday, November 16, 2022. The title of the message is Make a Decision, Repent, the Day of Tribulation for the Whole Earth has begun until the gate of the tribulation or great tribulation given to parts of Solomon's worship. We share God's message again. Here is the message. In a vision, there was a gathering of nations in front of a big black table. I asked, what is this God? The kings gathered, the world's rulers seemed to be discussing something very important. I don't understand what they were talking about. I'm confused. Suddenly, the voice of the Lord is very clear speaking. The peace agreement will be signed soon, my servant. Happens very soon. In the sky, I saw many armies of angels as they were preparing for the days of war. They sat on many white horses covering the sky. Scripture given is from Daniel chapter 9 verse 27. Let us read. He will confirm a covenant with many for one seven. In the middle of the seven, he will put an end to sacrifice and offering. And at the temple he will set up an abomination that causes desolation until the end that is decreed is poured out on him. Back to the message. The world will enter a period of weeping and wailing, mourning, because the wrath of God that will fall on the whole earth, calamity, sickness, economic collapse, crime, and famine. We really see death everywhere, wars between nations are even more frightening. Many people are frustrated and scared because of the condition of the world. And then scripture given again from Isaiah chapter 22, verse 12 to 14. Let us read. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, called you on that day to weep and to wail, to tear out your hair and put on sackcloth. But see, there is joy and reverie, slaughtering of cattle and killing of sheep, eating of meat and drinking of wine. Let us eat and drink, you say, for tomorrow we die. The Lord Almighty has revealed this in my hearing. Till you are dying day, this sin will not be atoned for, says the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Back to the message. Slowly but surely it is starting. The Lord says they laugh at what my servants say. They don't care and choose to live in sin. They couldn't read the signs of this world and even curse what they didn't know. Tell them if they don't turn around and repent, I will not help them in the times of trouble and trials over the whole earth. Only those whose names are written in the book of life, I protect and look after them until I take them from this earth. Repent, maybe tomorrow is the day you die. All that we bring is only our deeds that we will be held accountable for on the day of judgment good or evil. These days are fast and short. Do we realize from Monday to Sunday very fast? Hours are shortened. Wake up and repent. Jesus bless you. Parts of Solomon's worship and theme. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. Brothers and sisters in Christ, if you read in the Bible before the wrath of God falls on the earth, God always gives warnings through his servants, messengers, or watchmen. They will call people to repent and turn from their sins. If warning after warning has been given and people refuse to repent and continue to live in sin and rebellion to God, finally the judgment or the wrath of God will fall. Same with what has happened in the past, today we also see the same things happen. We live in such an ignorant, lukewarm generation that don't want to do anything for God. When God tells them to repent from sins, they said repentance is not needed to be saved. Laughing and mocking at the message, they said they have confidence that they will go to heaven no matter how they live. Brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. If anyone tells us that we will surely go to heaven, but never tell us to repent from sins, to live holy and righteous, to seek God and keep His commandments, they are liars. They only take verses from the scripture that agree with their compromising doctrine of demons. They never preach about repentance, holiness, commandments of God. They hide it and act like it never exists in the scripture. 
And when other people preach about repentance, holiness, keeping commandments of God, they came out with evil words, false accusations, slanders, and even now they said that we hear from the devil because we make them not have the confidence in their salvation. These people are false teachers that came out with this statement or agree with it. They cannot distinguish anymore the voice from the Holy Spirit and Satan. They call the Holy Spirit as Satan. This kind of act is called the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, and this sin cannot be forgiven by God. Let us read from Matthew chapter 12, verse 31 to 32. Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. The devil or Satan will never tell people to repent from sins, live holy and righteous, or keep the commandments of God. Can you imagine Satan tell, telling us to repent and live holy? It is read to me and impossible because from the beginning Satan already rebelled against God. So the false teachers that come from the devil or listen from the devil will say the same thing to us. They will never tell us to repent from sins because they love to live in sins but they want to go to heaven. When the sinners listening to their message, they are not convicted to live their sins but even being encouraged to continue living in sins because these false teachers are telling them that they will surely go to heaven no matter how they live. Just be confident. Brothers and sisters, we are saved by the blood of Jesus. It is true. We apply the blood of Jesus when we repent. So repentance is the manifestation of our faith in the blood of Jesus. If I'm telling us to repent from sins in other names such as Buddha, Muhammad, the saints, or the other names, it is true I'm preaching the false gospel. Now I'm telling us to repent in Jesus' name. This is the true gospel and it is biblical because Jesus, John the Baptist, the apostles, preach about repentance from sins and living in holiness. God calls us to live holy and righteous, perfect without spot and blemish. In our journey to perfection, sometimes we fall short, so repentance is not a one-time action, but we must do it daily and continually. When we sin, we confess our sins to Jesus, ask Him to wash away our sins with His blood, so our garments are made clean and white again by the blood of Jesus. And then we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us so we don't fall again, so we are made perfect by the blood of Jesus. If the false teachers claim that they have faith or belief in Jesus, that Jesus died on the cross for their sins, but refuse to repent by saying repentance is not needed to be saved, it is not the real faith but the empty faith that only ends up in their lips but not manifested in their action. This kind of faith will not save them. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.